Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I'm going to be answering a question that was left on a video of mine about a car that failed smog. So this person left a comment saying that his vehicle failed high HCs on a smog for the 15 and the 25 mile an hour portions of the smog. So both portions of the smog he failed. Uh, it says he watched some videos, they recommended spark plugs, cables, the measurement and told me all that good stuff. Uh, but this would be what I would do if my vehicle failed on high HCs on the low and the high speed. First, on the smog check itself, make sure you have no oxygen in the exhaust stream. Make sure it's zero. If you have anything that's measuring on the oxygen on your smog, your vehicle might have not been properly warmed up prior to doing the smog. So that might be the easiest fix for you is warming the vehicle up. If you do have oxygen on the smog, I would go out, look at my vehicle, make sure I have no exhaust leaks before the oxygen sensor. If you have any exhaust leaks in the exhaust stream before the oxygen sensor, that will cause the oxygen sensor to tell the computer to always add fuel to the engine because it wants to see the oxygen go away or go out of the exhaust stream by adding the fuel. When it adds the fuel, it sees rich and then it would tell the computer to slow down on adding the fuel, see lean, and that's what causes the rich lean, rich lean mixture. That could be a possibility. So now I checked the exhaust stream. I made sure that the vehicle is properly warmed up. I'm still failing smog. The next easiest thing would be the spark plugs are doing a basic tune up spark plugs, wires, coils, if needed. That is going to be the most common failure report, especially these days, because vehicles just aren't maintained the way that they used to be. These vehicles that are getting the dyno tests are pretty old these days. They've been sitting around a long time. So even if the spark plugs were changed in the last 50,000 miles or so, it might just be time to replace those. HC raw fuel is a hydrocarbon coming out of the tailpipe. That just means you're running too rich. There's too much fuel in the exhaust stream and that's causing you to fail smog. If this video is helping you out, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Comment below with the type of vehicle that this video is helping you on to. If you have any questions about smog or just your vehicle in general, comment below, shoot me a text, ask away, and I'll do my best to answer that. Now, if you do a tune-up, you do your spark plugs, you do your wires, coils if needed, what else could it be from this point? Next thing, next worst thing I would say would be a fuel injector that is stuck open. So if your fuel injector is told to turn off from the computer and it's still dripping fuel into the combustion chamber, that could also cause high HC because it's never turning off. It's just leaking into the combustion chamber all the time. So another possibility would be a fuel injector. And one more possibility, if the oxygen sensor itself has gotten lazy and is not switching from rich to lean fast enough, that could also cause a HC failure but pretty doubtful in that situation. Now the hardest or the worst possibility, worst case scenario out of this whole situation is that you have low compression on one cylinder or multiple cylinders. That would mean that your engine is getting weak. It's not sealing properly. You would have excessive blow by, probably burn in a little bit of oil as well. A worn out engine could cause high HCs and commonly a little bit high CO with that as well. So those are all the possibilities. If it was my vehicle, I would start off by doing a tune-up, especially if I'm well overdue. If I've done the tune-up, I would look at the injectors. So first off, no exhaust leaks. Make sure the tune-up is caught up. If it is, look at the injectors. Injectors are good, check the compression. That's probably gonna be your failure point. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, comment below with the year make model of your vehicle, and I will see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies.